of NBA teams will build my entire 2K squad. I know I'm not reinventing the wheel here with this video. No pun intended. Wheel of but it should be a banger nonetheless. I won't waste your time. Let's start with our starting point guard. So the point guard on our squad will have to come from the... Looks like that might be Utah Jazz or Raptors. <gasps> Wait a minute, Scotty Barnes? Oh, there's an out of position Scotty Barnes, but I don't remember if he's a shooting guard or a point guard. Holy shit, he's a point guard, bro. This is literally one of my favorite cards. He's a 6'8 point guard, he's nasty. Toronto Raptors just clutched up. My other option would be... Other options are Delano Banton and Fred Van Vliet. I technically could go Steve Nash as well, but no. We obviously got to go Scotty Barnes. All right, at the point guard is out of position Scotty Barnes. That's a great start. That's not bad at all. All right, boys, next up is our starting shooting guard. Our shooting guard will have to come from the Boston Celtics. I'm not mad about that at all. So my options are Jalen Brown and Derek White, but I have to assume Jalen Brown has a better card than just this Amethyst, right? There's no way this is just stupid. Technically, I could go with Kevin Garnett too, but I already just gotten out of position, so I'm not gonna do that. That's dumb. That's probably one of the best shooting guards in the game, and I'm not doing that. So there's a playoffs Jalen Brown. I feel like we gotta go Jalen Brown. 97 overall playoffs Jalen Brown. Six foot six shooting guard. Solid stats all around the board. Not bad at all. All right, I like our starting lineup so far. Scotty at the one, Jalen Brown at the two. Now we spin for the small forward who will come from the Indiana Pacers. I wonder if they have a Danny Granger card in this game. That would be nice. Ooh, there's a Paul George. See, I want to know your guys' opinions on this too for future videos. Paul George is not currently an Indiana Pacer. There was a lot of his very good years he was an Indiana Pacer and this card is an Indiana Pacers Paul George. So should I be allowed to get this? Oh, but they do have a Danny Granger. Yo, I said I said I wanted Danny Granger, so I think I am going to go Danny Granger. There's actually tons of good options. There's Karis Lever, Danny Granger, Paul George. Only 10,000 MT for Danny Granger too. Signature true series. I'll take it. All right, we got solid size on the lineup so far. Power forward is a position that honestly does not have a lot of good players. I don't, I literally have no idea who the four is for the Sixers. I don't have a very good feeling about this. Power forward, this is, dude, PJ Tucker. He's six foot five. That's the four? Are you kidding me? We could go with George McGinnis, Keith Van Horn, Dario Saric. Oh my fucking God. Can I get a Dolph Shays? If you dribble like this, oh my god, you're actually a plumber. <laughs> Six foot eight power forward from the fucking 20s. Thaddeus Young, yo. I actually like Thaddeus Young. Thaddeus Young is actually my front runner right now. These are some absolute bums. 3,700 MT for Thaddeus Young. You know what? Maybe he balls out. Maybe he carries the squad. What do I know? All right, that takes us to the five. I need a seven foot plus center because my power forward is six foot eight. We're gonna land on the Miami Heat. Okay, there's gonna be multiple good options. There's gonna be a Shaq, a Hassan Whiteside, and a Bam Adebayo, I assume. All right, we go Galaxy Opal Heat. Yup, there's a playoffs Bam Adebayo. Bio. You know, Bam is six foot nine. Here's him compared to my Yao Ming, who's literally almost an entire foot taller. I did not realize Bam out of Bio was only six foot nine. That is pretty small. Okay, what about Dark Matter? I guess Bam also has a Dark. Oh, right. These playoff cards can evolve into Dark Matters or something, right? Hey, Dark Matter center Bam out of Bio. He's not Yao Ming. You know, he's not a seven plus footer, but we're going to make it work. All right, ignore the bench for now because we still got to build the bench, but this is my starting five. It's honestly not bad. Scotty Barnes and Bam are probably my favorites right now. I've never used Jalen Brown, so we'll see how good he is. Danny Granger, I've definitely never used. Not in a long time. And Thaddeus Young, I am worried about him. I'm worried about Thaddeus Young, but we'll see. All right, so this next spin is for our backup point guards. This is whoever's coming in when Scotty Barnes is tired. Looks like it could be that man you see on the screen right there. That man who dropped 12 points in a game. We don't have to go there. Suns point guards. Oh my god, there is a Steve Nash. I may straight up rock a Steve Nash out of spite. So the Galaxy Opal Suns point guards. Oh wait, Devin Booker I guess is technically a shooting guard, so I couldn't do that anyway. There's Chris Paul, there's Steve Nash. Is there anybody else? I take it all back. Of course, Devin Booker is not a point guard. He's a shooting guard. Elemental Steve Nash. I don't know what the hell this promo is, but Elemental Steve Nash can be my backup point guard. Honestly, Scotty Barnes is probably going to be so much better and it's not even close, but it'll be fun to use Steve Nash. All right, so then this next team will be our backup shooting guard. So this is going to be whoever comes in for Jalen Brown. It's Warriors. Shit. 
Right. Warriors shooting guard. The courtside baddies man himself. It's got to be Jordan Poole. So the options are Jordan Poole or Clay Thompson. Honest to God, I do have this Jordan Poole. I don't like him. He's not good. I think I like Clay better. Yeah, you know what? And Clay is an OG splash, bro. I will take 97 overall Clay Thompson. I've used him before. I really like his jump shot. His jump shot is so clean. All right, we got a backup point guard. We got a backup shooting guard. How about a backup small forward to back up? Danny Granger. It's gonna be the Bulls. Michael Jordan's a shooting guard. Jimmy Butler's a shooting guard? No. I think Jimmy Butler is a small forward. They call him a small forward. Although he does not have a galaxy open with dark. Oh, he does have a dark matter. Oh, it ends in an hour. Are you kidding me? Well, there is a dark matter small forward for the Heat. But since 2K is such greedy bastards, there's no buy now. Like, I literally have to sit here and wait an hour to use Jimmy Butler. I'll do it for the video, boys. We'll just have to pick up this video later. I'm gonna build the whole squad except for my backup small forward here. And I'll wait until we get this Jimmy Butler off the auction house. A few moments later. Then fuck you, Roddy 2K. What, are you so mad that I go on Chinese websites and buy copious amounts of... All right, so we got Jimmy Butler. Dark Matter small forward. I'm excited about that. What about our backup power forward? It actually could be Carl Malone. I don't know what cards Carl Malone has, but if he's got a good one, this could be nice. No Dark Matters. There is Galaxy Obos. Ooh, you know what's funny? I was streaming the other day, and everybody told me to get this guy. Literally everybody told me to get this guy. Thurl Bailey. I don't know what makes him so good. He's actually the only Galaxy Opal or better option for the Jazz. Ooh, Ori Markinen. Now, I gotta get Markin in, bro. I'm not getting fucking thorough Bailey. I'm getting Lori Markin in. So there's this all star Lori Markin in card. He's seven foot at power forward. That's actually really nice. I like this a lot. So sal this is a solid size power forward. Looks like he could do most everything, too. Hell yeah, boys. Okay, I'll take that. All right, so for our backup center, we have done an amazing job so far. I love what we built. Our backup center will come from the Sacramento Kings. Wow, I am a casual. When I think of Sacramento Kings, I think of Deer and Fox, I think of Sabonis, but I don't. Don't think of their center, because I don't know who that is. DeMontis Sabonis is a center? I guess his his father, Arvidas Sabonis, was a center. Wow, now I'm just like a triple casual, because I out loud said DeMontis Sabonis, but I didn't realize it was him. I am tempted to go with this DeMarcus Cousins. I feel like this DeMarcus Cousins might be better. He's 270 pounds, but DeMontis is seven foot one. That's a big boy. I could be mistaken, but I'm fairly certain these two cards are the exact same thing. So I'm going to take all-star DeMontis Sabonis right here. Seven foot what? What the fuck are you talking about? All-star DeMontis Sabonis is 6'11", 240 pounds, whereas playoffs DeMontis Sabonis is 7'1". Wait, would he grow fucking two inches since the all-star break? Whose idea was this? All right, well, I'm getting the two-inch taller DeMontis Sabonis because that makes a whole lot of sense. This DeMontis Sabonis is wearing his high heels. Also, I apologize, boys. I only get into 2K at the end of the year, so if I mispronounce any players' names, just call me a casual and move on. I'd I I be doing that sometimes. And I do want to get one bench player who will actually get some minutes. So let's do our final spin right here. All right, so this will be the 11th man. My 12th and 13th man never make the court anyway. So let's just grab an 11th man from the Orlando Magic. Now, the good part about getting an 11th man is I can choose anybody. So let's see what dark matters the Magic have. Oh my fucking God. It's the only invincible card in the entire game right now. No way. All right, boys, I'm going to shell out some MT. Yo, I know we were calling him my 11th man, but I think I might have to put him in the starting lineup now. Once I get all the players on my team, I'm going to mess up my lineup. I'll get everyone where they need to be. 6, 8, 2, 10, T-Mac, an A-plus in every single stat. Jesus. 99 standing dunk. 99 interior defense. 99 offensive and defensive rebounding. A ridiculous card. 56 Hall of Fame badges. Crazy. Alright, boys. I've got 40 minutes on Jimmy Butler anyway, so I'm going to end the recording. As soon as these are done, I'll be right back. One hour later. Jimmy Jimmy Butler, we finally won it. Let's go. All right, let's go make this final lineup. So the starting lineup is going to be Scotty, Jalen Brown, T-Mac, Markinen, and Adebayo. And Steve Nash, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Thaddeus Young, and Sabonis will come off the bench. Although I could start Jimmy. Huh. <laughs> no. Fine, 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 fine. I'm going to start Jimmy. Okay, so the starting lineup is actually Scotty, Jimmy, T-Mac, Markinen, Adebayo, with Nash, Jalen Brown, Clay Thompson, Thaddeus Young, Sabonis, and our 11th man is Danny Granger. Dude, I cannot tell you how excited I am to use this T-Mac, and you know what's funny? I just so happen to have Magic Unis on this team. I've just been rocking these classic home Magic Unis because I think they're so dope. Perfect for T-Mac!
Here's the squad. Spin the wheel of NBA teams is complete. Now we just gotta go get a dub with this squad. Also, I know my usual content is not 2K, but I hope you guys enjoyed this regardless. I'm gonna try and make it as good as I can. Let's get a dub. We got that Cade Cunningham, Taco Fall, Thurl Bailey. This is quite the meta squad right here. Let's see what we can do, boys. Bam is looking so short out there. Hey, out of bounds already. Lego. So who's on T Mac? Hell of a start, boys. Why am I in the crowd? Good defense. Came from the crowd to defend that. Jimmy walking it up court. What's Jimmy's three look like, I wonder? Ooh, good. Oh, I just dished to T-Mac. Little midi for T-Mac. Oh my God, this T-Mac is nasty. 5-0. Dude, we got the same logo and everything, though. It's kind of confusing me. Shit, 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 shit. Get there. Oh, Ooh, drills the three. I don't know what Jimmy was doing. It's five to five all of a sudden. Go up out of bio. Hey, a little redemption for Bam. Hey, good defense, Bam. Bam's cooking all of a sudden. It's 2K23, baby. You green that shit or you brick it. Those are your options. And he greens it. Nice shot. Wow. Yup, great cut. Jimmy Butler knew exactly what to do there. Good game so far. Thaddeus Young. Oh, what are you doing? Who's on Sabonis? Nobody's on Sabonis. Good defense. That's crazy. That's crazy. Dare I, dare I say ball don't lie? Dare I say it? Mm, pretty good D, but a better shot. Yup. <laughs> the best inbounds play in the world. Oh, into Bam. Go up, Bam. Oh, no, that's a big dude. I should not be going up there. Oh, one more. One more pass. Right back. I'm going for the post fade. Hey, I think I got it. <laughs> Yo, he's got 99 post fade. He's got 99 post fade. Don't sleep on it. Ooh, that's a good move. Great SWAT. Scotty Barnes. Into Danny Granger. Hey, no, fuck you. Fucking pink diamond taco fall. F completely out of position. I still miss that dunk. Good defense. It was good defense. Taco fall is really good. Ooh, bam. Easy one. We take that. He stepped up a little too high on the screen. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Up to, up to bam. Oh! Come on! Let's go. Three-point lead right now. No threes. Great defense! Back into Danny. Take it to the line, Danny Granger. Let's go. Free throw is slow and steady. Another one, slow and steady. Drills it. Taking the five-point lead, playing spectacular defense right now. Another great defensive possession. Great shot. He drills the three. He needed that. He was cold for a minute there. Oh, go in. Some bonus! 23 to 19. Steve Nash on Kate Cunningham. I don't like that. That's fine. I'll take a taco fall three there. Great defense. Great defense. Get that. That was the most whack bucket of the day. Are you fucking kidding me? Sabonis? Went for it. Oh shit. He just got a freebie. I don't know how he just got that freebie, but he did. I might have one of my own. Ooh. Okay. Take a little bailout. Thaddeus Young free throw. Fast. Very fast. Okay. Mm, got it. One point lead. He's going to leave Bam out of bio. Wide open at the start of the third. Big mistake. Free bucket. Back to Taco. Hand up. No, he drilled it. Oh, he didn't? That was like a perfect release. All right. We got T Mac here, y'all. Oh, got him. Got him. No, fuck this game. Fuck this game. Oh, what a, like, what a good move. What a great shot. Another, and a layup misses. Oh my God. I got my bucket anyway. Got my bucket anyway. Shooting 50%. Stay up on it. Ooh, good dish. Bad shot. Good pass. Bad shot. Hey, <laughs> no, 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 absolutely the fuck not. What kind of horse shit is that? And then man's get switched and he gets a free three. Let's just go win this game. Mark and will put that one through. Nice work. Get that shit out of here. Oh no, he actually got a pretty good shot out of that. Missed it though. Team on, come on. Seven point lead. Let's get it. Good D. Great defense. Great defense. Great defense. Yes, run it. To Nash. Back to Sabonis. Missed layup. Missed layup. I knew it would be. Oh, that's a three. Damn. That's no good. Pull up. Thaddeus Young. <laughs> With no time on the shot 
Cluck. Oh my god. What a clutch bucket. Got Walton. Great defense, Clay. Wait to stay. Oh. No, no, no. No. Oh, I just gotta put a hand up. I can't be, I can't be jumping. Either way, Scotty misses the first one, which is nice. Probably drills the second. All right, two points for them there. Four point ball game. Oh, it's there? Bail out. Bail out. Although I don't know Jalen Brown's free throw. It's slow. It's slow and it's beautiful. Look at that. I can't say the last time I hit both free throws on the new guy. Hand up. Just hand up, Nash. Great defense. He got his own. He got that ball back. We knew he would. There's no shot. Get up. No, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. I'm lucky. It could be a three-point game right now, but we hold a six-point lead. Dude, T-Mac is so nasty, but honestly, I really like Lori Markinen right now. He did brick a dunk, though, so I'm a little mad at him. Great defense. Sends the screen. Hand up. No, sir. Nice fucking board. T-Mac just boarded on Taco. Bam loses the ball. We picked it back up. T-Mac! Oh, that would have been a fucking dagger. Dude, he would have been in shambles we hit that. Oh, he's got Taco up on me? I respect it, sir. Oh, what? Scotty just cooked Steve Nash, and he just got a wide open midi. Oh, Lori. Marking in. Oh, shit. He had a roll, man. I'm fine with that. He had a wide open three. Into Bam. It's there. Let's go, Bam! Needed that. Uh-oh. Thurl just got me, but he goes up for a layup and Bam out of bio. Bam is fucking nasty. You cannot take that away from him. Get up! Get that shit out of here! That's my inbounds play. Holy shit. I'm up top. Three, two, one. No shot at all! Look at that defense! Great rebounding position. 35 to 40. Down to Steve Nash. Drill it, Steve! <laughs> Nash! That's a fucking dagger. Oh, shit. Good defense. Good rec... Thorough. Bailey. That was hell of a bucket. Down to Lori. Oh, no! Oh, that's a bad turnover. Very bad turnover. I have to get this ball right back to T-Mac. Oh, shit. Gotta come over. Shit! Oh, he missed? Holy shit. Him missing that three just changed everything. All right, Akeem, you gotta earn it. A minute 12. Uh-oh, he earned one. He earned one at the least. Oh, what? Dude, this, this game shot meter is actually so stupid. Like, how does he not make that? Lori! Lori has now missed two fucking dunks? Oh my god, he gets a wide open three with Scotty and he fucking drills it. You're kidding me, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, team! Oh, oh! Got the computer jumping. He tries to off ball. The computer jumps. Oh my God, he had it. He still has it. 45 to 46. Wait, Bam, why are you so open? Bam, why are you so open? Up by three. Well, he needs a three. That's fine. Take it. You have to follow me. I feel like I just trust T-Mac the most. I kind of have to. I don't know his free throw, but it's got to be the highest. Oh, beauty. It's a beauty. Make it two. Let's go, T-Mac. 21 seconds, no threes. Oh, shit. Good move. Fucking whiffed. Absolutely whiffed. Uh, I need one out of Scotty. It's slow and steady. Oh, rims out. All right, all right. Take your time, man. <gasps> no way. No way. After all that, you just quit? Holy shit, man. What a game. Oh, it would have been sick to see that game through to the end because I definitely wanted to look at the box score. You can't ask for much better of a game. That was back and forth. T-Mac is disgusting. T-Mac is literally disgusting. All right, boys. Spin the wheel NBA teams. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was an absolute blast to make. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.